Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. First things first, if you're new here, please subscribe. You don't have to, of course, but it really helped me out and where I'm trying to get my channel to be. OK, so hello and I hope you're having a really, really great day. Let's talk. So I have recently changed my hair. Now, I have a huge passion for everything hair for men and women. And at the end of the day, I have a true passion that everybody should feel confident, should feel happy and be able to take on the world with whatever hair you have got. Because if you've got fine thinning hair, if you've got frizzy hair, if you've been blessed with thick hair, or if you've got lots of fine hair or very, very little fine hair, or your hair's thinning, you're a man or a woman, doesn't matter. Your hair can look super, super cool as a guy, whatever hair you've got, and it can look super glamorous as a lady with whatever hair you've got. So that's where my passion really comes from. And I love to look and investigate and review um, at products which give us the best environment for the optimum growth and for the thickest possible hair and for the healthiest and most best hair we can achieve, to be quite honest with you. So for me, I have fine textured hair. I have quite a lot of it. I'm blessed with that. My family as a whole, um, we've got half which have really super thick hair. And then my mum's side, which I fall into with my nan, um, and my second eldest brother, we all have fine hair, but a lot of it. Whereas on the opposite side, I've got my eldest brother, my twin brother and my dad all have super thick hair. Now, recently, since about May, I've been having a bit of a problem with loss, um, and which is really strange, actually, quite counterintuitive, you could probably say, just because I'm always looking at products to keep my hair as thick and full as possible and investigating with kind of supplements and reviews and one thing or another. Back in 2015, I lost a lot of hair, like a golf ball size amount underneath here, and then thinning all throughout the front, but last I kept my hairline. Whereas this time since about May, um, I've had a lot of health problems going on, a lot of stress going on, um, lots going on. And I've been quite surprised that before May, actually, that I didn't have a, a load of hair full. Um, and unfortunately, um, it's got a bit worse. So this is a review um, about my last hair update. Now, it was improving. It was improving after some weeks of using the, I believe it's the HR23 Plus hair supplement, which they were very kind to send me. Um, I have now stopped that. I did have a, uh, I had a real great benefit from that in the past, about a year ago, um, and I started taking that. But this time, um, it's done a little bit of an improvement, but then in about a three week, two and a half week period, um, my hair fall has got considerably worse um, and has stressed me out tenfold, to be quite honest with you. Um, but I've generally been feeling really quite unwell at the moment. Um, I've been suffering with vertigo, which is an ongoing problem which I have with my hearing uh, condition. I have uh, deafness on one side. Um, and that's a whole question mark around many years disease. But this time, uh, through being stressed um, and I'm I'm battling with all these mixed emotions of losing my grandmother, who's my mum's mum, so I'm very, very stressed and to be honest, quite broken hearted with that. And I've had a few things at work, lots of stress going on. So I visited the doctor this week and they're possibly thinking now that I may actually have some problems with my thyroid. Um, he had a look through my scalp. I sent him actually some pictures to the surgery for them to try and get me an appointment along with the symptoms which I was feeling. Um, which I'm getting there, but of course he had a look at my scalp when I went to see him earlier this week, and he did say that the pattern of the loss which I have, which is just behind here, um, and behind my hairline, I know looking at my hair you'd think, what on earth is going on about? He's got tons of hair. Um, I've got fine hair, I've got a lot of it, but it's considerably reduced. Um, since May of this year. So there is a lot less of it, but there's tricks and tips to help you make the most of your hair, which I will be covering in another clip moving forward. Um, but anyway, so I'm waiting for some blood tests and things about that. And he's given me some things to concentrate and to look at for stress. Um, but he has actually now said that the patch behind here is stress induced hair loss. Um, and I've got a very typical pattern of that throughout my scalp, um, which I don't just have one patch. I have an overall thinning. Um, I use a uh, I use a band just to tie my hair back, which has got um, less, which was one uh, one pinpoint to sort of for me knowing that something was changing. Um, and then, of course, washing my hair, brushing my hair, styling my hair, lots and lots of loss. Um, and I mean lots. Uh, so a lot more than what would be normal for me. And of course, normal is different for everyone. So dealt with that now, dealt with that with the doctor. I know what I need to do. Um, he has said that it will grow back. Um, and 
He's advised me just because I'm having some stomach related problems in sort of a whole spectrum of different health issues at the moment to leave the supplements which I've been taking alone um, and just to try and concentrate on healthy eating, reducing the stress. Um, he did suggest, um, I think it was actually, he suggested what he thought was really good at a 7C supplement. So I'm going to have a look at taking that instead, but I'm not sure quite yet. I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. Um, but I think actually possibly my mum said next time she gives up, bless her heart, she was going to pick it up for me. Um, now, that's nothing to do with the HR23 Plus. They are a really good supplement. I will be reviewing them up until the point I have stopped. Um, this, of course, is a medical issue. And no matter how great your scalp or your hair is, if you've got a medical issue, then unfortunately you can't stop that with your hair. Hair is very different, very unique for us all. Um, and it is a characteristic, as I have always said, the inner expression of good health. So if your hair is changing, First, look at your health and see your family doctor and go from there. Because any amazing supplement you're using, which used to work for you, and you're thinking, actually, it's not working no longer for me. And I mean, HR23+, Plus, Viviscal, all great supplements. And you're thinking, actually, they're not really working for me anymore. Then it may well be closer at home and the problem with your health rather than the actual supplement. So please do just bear that in mind. So that's what's been going on with me. So unfortunately, I'd love to sit here and say that my hair has got a lot better. Um, but it hasn't in terms of thickness. Now, I'm not going to show you the loss in the patch actually on this clip, but I have come to my decision now that I am going to share that with you in a clip real soon. But you may notice that I used to have really light hair um, towards the ends, um, bleached, and you may see a bit of a difference. So actually what I done yesterday, uh, now colour can be uh, colour can be great for hair. It can be great to give it a new lease of life, whether you're a man or a woman. It can be great to boost shine, vitality, health in the length of the hair. But of course, you can do it yourself, but just be really, really careful. And just remember that if you are not sure, don't take risks. Always get a professional to do it. Now, colouring your hair yourself can be absolutely amazing. For some people which do it, my mum does it, for example, herself. Long hair, stunning hair, absolutely beautiful, does an amazing job. My Nan, who we lost at the age of 95, coloured her hair from about the age of 15, as I understand. Always used colour, always done it herself, always absolutely stunning. I've got a sister-in-law who does that. I've got friends who do that as well. Um, I've seen a professional and just the difference for me with obviously being concerned about my hair and the problems with my hair is night and day. It has given me an injection of life. My hair was feeling really quite dull, really quite dry, really quite drab. The bleach, which was grown out from December, from about here, I'd say from my scalp here downwards, this hair was almost feeling as though it was falling out more. Um, the breakage wasn't really great. Everything I was using, it just was not holding moisture. So this is a semi-permanent colour, I understand. Um, and I've wanted it because, of course, when, as a man, you have colour in your hair, it can very quickly, very easily look like a uh, effeminate style and effeminate colour um, process, which I very, very clearly did not want that. Um, no disrespect to anybody who likes that at all as a man, but for me, I do not want that. I have to look very um, presentable, very uh, professional. I'm really on top form all the time in my role. I'm in a very professional role um, in finance and accountancy. Um, unfortunately, I can't tell you the body who I actually work for, but I'm I'm in meetings, sort of Skype calls, uh, Teams calls, sorry, all of those type of things. Um, so I have to be looking on point all the time. This hair, for me, being it was bleached back in December, it was just never really getting back up to where it was before. So yesterday, after six months of prior having colour in my hair, I um, had a chat with the lady who usually cuts my hair. We have noticed that this side of my hair is a lot thinner under here. That's why today I've got my hair styled up here with a bit of volume, just to give that illusion that there is a lot more than what there actually isn't. Um, and again, this isn't affecting my hairline, it is behind, and it's the overall kind of density. So you may think this is a bit strange, but what I've actually had is my hair cut into a little bit in the back area where it's thickest. Um, and that's just to kind of for hair to have a little bit more movement and a little bit more blend rather than having a thick sort of back hair, thicker at the side and a really thin side. And I was really finding that as well with how much I've lost on this side here. So I've had it cut into, not loads and not sort of half the hair density gone, just some strategic sort of um, not layers, but cutting into, chipping into, taking out a little bit of the density, kind of just giving that illusion of movement and volume. Make it look like actually there's a lot more hair than what there actually is. And then of course with some strategic colouring, as you can see, I've still got some of the blonde throughout my hair, but I've got a darker tone pulled throughout my hair, and I really, really like it. I think it's given me a little bit sort of shy to show you this side, just in case it shows through. But in fact, actually, you can start to see 
just up above what's happening under there. But it's ma it's major to me. Some people it might not be, but I have lost a lot. But anyway, on here, as you can see, it's, it is darker and it's it's really nice and I'm really, really liking it. And the finish was absolutely impeccable. I was really, really pleased. Um, the lady which done uh, the colouring for me and the cut I absolutely love. Um, really, really pleased. And what I really liked is they treat you really, really well where I go as well. Um, it's for women and men. And one thing which I've, I've had experiences before when you've gone and you had your hair cut anywhere is that you walk into a place and of course predominantly there are a lot of ladies having their hair cut, styled, whatever. Um, and of course then you walk in there as a guy and you think to yourself you don't really want to be treated of course the same as as if women are having their hair cut and that's what I like. Where I go is really ultra modern, really ultra sleek. Men is men, women is women where they have their hair cut, styled and then of course I was having colour done. Of course that's not going to bother some people but it made me feel a little bit uncomfortable. I didn't really like to be in the same area, so I was really pleased that I was treated um, very individually as well. Um, and what I really, really liked is that because I do have hearing problems, I was finding it really, really difficult to hear where I was positioned. And I actually asked, and they really catered for me, and they really looked after me, and they made me feel at ease and comfortable. Of course, washing my hair very sensitive with the amount I've lost on this side, um, they made me feel really, really at ease and just really, really great. So some great clips to come, some great insights to come, which I am going to be sharing with you. But for me now, I hope you really like it for my subscribers. Um, I hope you think it kind of suits me. Um, I do. And as you can see, I really like, um, this is my favourite comb, by the way, here is a pompadour comb, Jack Dean pompadour comb from Amazon. And just as you can see, this is me just passing uh, an oblong style brush with a blow dryer through my hair. And as you can see, there's some nice volume, nice texture, movement, absolutely great i'm going to go like that until i'm ready to show you and here and just come out of my ear and as you can see it really does it has improved things and i really really liked the movement of what it does be really careful <laughs> and yeah as you say i'm not ready yet to show you but um i've taken some clips which i actually used to send to my doctor so i will be using these on these on a clip coming soon but i hope you like it um i absolutely do and it really i find makes my hair look a lot thicker a lot fuller and um yeah absolutely like it so let me know what you think and if you're liking the idea of this absolutely give it a try be of course it be adventurous with your hair and as I say, if you've got fine thinning hair, a lease of new colour can absolutely help you. Some strategic cutting, um, some sort of layers. I don't mean literally half your head cut away with the volume and the density which you've got. Chat with the person who cuts your hair. And that's why such a uh, such a, a rapport, a good rapport, that relationship with whoever cuts your hair, them understanding you, what you're trying to achieve and what you don't want and what's concerning you and what's giving you potential anxiety about your hair because of course let's be honest our hair makes us it gives us confidence it has the power to either give us a great day where we're ready to take on the world or it can make us feel really down and really really rubbish within ourselves and everybody deserves to look and feel and be absolutely feeling amazing and ready to be or what they want to be this life is far too precious for us to be worrying about things like that so if we can get it right then great so that's really important to have that relationship and that conversation with whoever styles colors or does your hair so for me really very very happy and as i say i will be showing you soon what's been going on but for now make this do <laughs> and hopefully you like it as i say i like this I like this comb it gives me a little bit of a texture break and as you can see my hair is really quite good at holding volume too um with what i've um products and things i've been using recently so really pleased with that and yes absolutely like like what's happened and i hope you do too okay so do let me know uh, what you think if you do have any questions um if you would like to ask me absolutely anything uh please feel free to and as i say i will be uh being very open very forthright what's been going on uh with my hair and i have got a uh, have got a few pictures and um we will be going into that shortly um and i'll be giving you some ideas in a separate clip as well about how to make the most of your hair if you are having a problem um in terms of uh, sort of hair loss hair thinning as a guy what you can kind of do um so yeah hope you've enjoyed this clip really hope you do and until next time take great care of yourself and do you know what just Take each day as it comes. If you're feeling stressed, I've been really, really stressed out lately. The only one thing I would say is take each day as it comes. Um, 
None of us are promised a tomorrow. That's been made very, very clear in, on social media and the news lately, um, with so many different things which reminds us. It's a stark reminder of this life is, is so, so precious. And as I say, none of us are, are promised a tomorrow. And if we are, and we're blessed with one, then let's grab it with both hands and run with it. So from my heart to yours, take great care, slow things down, enjoy the journey of this life. You'll get there if you truly want to. So be kind to yourself. Take great care. I'll be seeing you real soon. Thank you very much for being here. And until next time, God bless. See you soon. Bye for now.